guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget, if you are home like many people are, to take this opportunity to go and binge watch my van dwelling videos. If you go to my main page, click videos where all my videos are, you can just scroll down and you'll eventually get to my van dwelling videos. Alright, so I want to first apologize for the live. It did not go anything like I wanted it to go or expected it to go. Um, I got to do some little work on there <laughs> to try to get everything in the frame. Uh, so I will be redoing that live. I did take that video off because I was really not happy with that video at all. So today, guys, I am going to be fixing a breakfast sandwich that I saw online because I'm always looking at food uh, videos on YouTube is one of my other things that I like to do besides watching van dwelling videos. And this sandwich is so good. I was surprised at how much I like this sandwich. And it doesn't take many ingredients. Most of these things you should, if not all, should have already in your uh, place and don't have to run out and buy it, especially in, the t in today's time. You don't want to be running out there just to get some jelly. <laughs> Alright, so what you're going to need is two eggs, some type of jelly. I prefer strawberry. It works well. One slice of bread cut in half. And the cheese of your choice. I happen to have some baby Swiss, so that's what I use. And it worked well with the sandwich. It tastes very good. So what you want to do first is crack your eggs. Let me tell you about yesterday. Last night at work, put some salt and pepper. Well, we went to work Friday. When I went to work Friday, apparently the job took a job that they told the customer that they were going to get the job out over the weekend. So then that's when they asked us to work Saturday. Now, their plan to get this work out was that they side would work Saturday and Sunday, 12 hours and then we would work just Saturday. But when we went in on Saturday, they realized that they're gonna need more time to get that job out. So they asked, would we be willing to work Sunday? So that's what happened. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of milk in here. Milk makes your eggs a lot fluffier. Even though we're not making, I'm not making scrambled eggs, I still like a little fluff. And I always put hot sauce in my uh, eggs. Give it that little bit of zest. So, but as luck have it, and you want to scramble these, uh, stir these up a little bit. As luck have it, when I went in last night, something broke on the press and the part was in the supervisor office locked up. So it was like 10, 15, we got there at 7.30. The supervisor didn't respond, so we ended up leaving at 10.30. So I was only at work for two and a half hours. I was so, me and the girl were so happy. We were so happy. Man, we left at 10.30, and I'm telling y'all, it did me a world of good. Because I got back home before 11 o'clock. I stayed up to about midnight, and I went to sleep, and I woke up about 10 minutes to 8 this morning. And you guys, when I tell you I slept because I was so exhausted, I was moving so slow up in there uh, yesterday, last night, but man, I got here, went to sleep about midnight, I slept eight hours. No waking up going to the bathroom or nothing. I, I feel great this morning, and y'all know I was going to call out this, tonight, <laughs> but I'm not going to call out now because I got plenty of time to rest. I told myself I was going to go out for a little walk today. But yeah, I feel pretty good now. So I'm ready to tap for another week of 11 and a half hours. <laughs> oh man. Okay, once you get that egg all stirred up. Now the trick to this is to cook this egg really, really slow and low. So put it on low, 
let it heat up a little bit, but not too much, because this is going to be a really thin layer of egg. And the problem I had was my technique. Because the egg was so thin, it was hard for me to flip it with the bread on it. I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean. But while this is heating up, I'm actually going to go ahead and pour this again now so it can start heating up really slow. Now see what I mean? That's a very thin layer of egg, you know. So you don't want it to try to stick to the pan because it's just going to make it more difficult to try to flip over. So make sure it's on really low. So in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put some jam on. I don't know why I'm calling it jam in this jelly. Put some jelly on one side of the bread. Now the great thing about this meal, I ain't gonna say great, like it's like the greatest thing ever, but one of the good things about this meal is that you can put a slice of bacon in here on this bread in between. An avocado if you're in the avocados. And I have something I want to ask you guys too. It's about a, a certain food. Because I've never tasted it, but every time I see it in a grocery store, I'm thinking maybe I should try it. And that's uh, that's tofu. Do you guys eat tofu? Because I'm very curious. That every time I see it, I'm, I get curious as how does it taste and what's the texture of it. I know that it's wet because I see people when they taking it out to pack, they always patting it dry. So it must be like... A moist type of thing but I'm very curious to know what tofu tastes like so if any of you guys out there now if you taste it once and like uh, you know no I want someone's uh, thoughts on who regularly eats tofu and maybe someone who is uh, vegan don't eat meat they substitute it for tofu may be helpful but because every time I see it in the grocery store I, I get really curious about it for a couple minutes and then you want to take your cheese and cut it in half. Actually, I'm going to get another slice of cheese because I'm going to put two on this little piece right here. I like my cheese to hang over the bread so that it can melt on down the sides. I'm going to get one more because I'm going to put this second piece on the top of the sandwich. This piece right here will be in the center of the sandwich. You'll start to see your egg to get done. I'm going to turn this up a little bit more. A little bit higher. Because <laughs> you don't want <clears throat> to, excuse me, you don't want to be here two hours cooking a darn egg. <laughs> but just keep an eye on it and make sure that you don't let it stick to the pan. I am horrible at remembering where I get these uh, little recipes on uh, YouTube. <clears throat> so, and the egg, the egg, it doesn't, it doesn't cook evenly. So you have to really, because right now it looks like it's cooking right here in the center, but around the edges are not yet starting to cook up yet. And I would think that it would be the opposite, that the edges, you know, like a microwave, a microwave, your food heat from the outside to the center. That's why a lot of times when you heat your food up, the top of it and the center of it is not uh, warm, but the edges in the, <laughs> are hot. All right, but anyway, you want to put right in the middle somewhere, you want to drop your two slices of bread. Now, once again, the challenge for me was getting this flipped over. Now, I don't mean flip it over like put your spatula in there and try to flip it over. I mean, I need to put, I'm going to show you as best I can, 
It wasn't pretty the first time I did this. See my egg is starting to stick. So just take your spatula and kind of make sure your egg don't stick. That's the most important thing in this whole meal is to make sure your egg do not stick. And you want to be able to get underneath of there and flip that over like that. All right, that was a lot better than the one I did. And then if you have to, ah, watch your hands. Get under there and flip it again. There we go. Now what I did, now let me turn it down. Now that I got it. Look. Now I'm gonna put this other piece of cheese on here. On top. Now what I did was I got rid I got rid of the ugly on the sides. Oh, this looks so much better than... Oh, I did a good job. And you know what I did different this time? It might have helped me out. I used olive oil this time instead of vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is like you frying something. And I think that's what messed me up a little bit. Because let me tell you, this is a big improvement from what I cut off the sides the first time. <laughs> this is great. Now you just want to give it some time to make sure it's heated up in the center. I like to put a little pepper on there. Oh yeah, this is better. Now once your cheese is melted on top, you know, it's probably going to be warming up on the inside and the cheese on the inside should be melted as well. But again, make sure your fire is low. Uh, I'm so proud of myself because this looks so much better than the first one I made. I went and bought a case of soda. I know somebody, and I ain't going to mention your name because you know who you are, going to probably say, all that sugar in that Diet Coke. I'll be proud of you when you get rid of that Diet Coke. Well, I can't be proud of everybody. I can't make everybody proud. But yeah. It smells delicious. Oh my God, it does. I really think using olive oil made the difference because I had the hardest time flipping that egg the first time. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised the egg was still intact a little bit. But okay, this is, uh, this is going to be really, really good. You guys are going to make this all the time. All right, there we go. Now look how clean cut that egg look. Look at that. That looked like you got that from Denny's. <laughs> I'm serious. That looked like you got that from Denny's. Look at that. That looks, oh, I'm so, I'm, ah, uh, I'm so proud of myself because yesterday one or the day before didn't look anything like this. All right, I'm gonna cut into this now. Oh, it's, and then I try to get all like professional and fancy and cut it like on a diagonal. Look at that. Look at that. Now, it doesn't look like it's all puffed up or anything, but let me tell y'all, this is so good. Woo! That jelly. Mmm. Mmm. Yup. Mmm. That cheese. I could have kept it in there a little bit longer. Mmm. Wow. This is really good. Yes, indeed. Get your jam on there. Mm-hmm. 
the sweetness of that jam, jelly, I don't know why I call it a jam, jelly is so good, that melted cheese, again I could have kept it in there a little bit longer, get the inside a little bit more time, but this is good, alright guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I'm sure if you try this sandwich, it's going to become a regular. And if I find the video that I got it from off of YouTube, I will link the description, link it in the description. And you guys can go see how the professional woman who made it, or man, I don't know, it was just hands doing stuff, <laughs> uh, do it. But I would say that today's one was pretty close to the video that I did, if not to the same uh, goodness. Alright guys, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that, as always, and I'll see you guys the next time.